Here we have Brian, and he came to see us about, what do we say, a year and year nine, months. nine months ago. He had some chronic uh, lumbar spine pain with sciatica. And let's see his before x-ray. Uh, he had stage four bone ammo degeneration of L5S1, obviously compressing his uh, sciatic nerve. And then we just took an x-ray so before is June 21, and now it's March 23, a year and nine months. You can see the L5S1 has opened up. We did document that after a six months pre and post and still stabilized. Most important thing is how's that back pain, how's that sciatica? A lot better. Okay. Able to do running, jumping, more things. Still haven't been cleared to go scuba diving yet, but. Hey, that's not weight bearing, I'll clear you. Mm -hmm. All right. So Brian, a year, nine months later, how? how, how it feels how, good. Yeah, how many percent better do you feel? I'd say about 90. Yeah, so that I'm initial, the, back. The, the initial results we got after six months when the sciatic and back pain disappeared has stabilized, huh? Yes. That's perfect. All right, we'll keep on maintaining your condition with a little laser stimulation. And we'll go from there. Congratulations. Thanks. Proof is in the pudding. Let's look again. L5S1, bone on bone, stage four degenerative arthritis, which has opened up. And basically, this is normal here, normal disc space, and now eight stage degeneration causing pressure on his disc and nerve. But you can see that has been opened up, getting the pressure off the nerve thus relieving his uh, back pain and sciatica. Because your sciatica used to be on the right side, correct? It would start in the low back and go down? Um, on both sides. Yeah, both sides, because both sides of the vertebra were degenerated, mm -hmm. but now that's been opened up. So there you go, folks, proof is in the pudding.